Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. Today we're going to be talking about sunscreen, my favorite topic. We talk about uh, makeup and skincare and all things beauty here. But sunscreen, especially physical sunscreen, is my favorite topic. So much so that we have a playlist here in my channel where I... Where, which basically includes every sunscreen that I've reviewed and put on my face and demoed. So I will leave that playlist down below if you're interested, if you like these kinds of videos. And if you are in the market for sunscreen, definitely consider uh, taking a look at that playlist. So if you like these kinds of content, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And also definitely give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked watching it, of course. So today we're going to be talking about, like I said, sunscreen. And this is by a brand that I've never tried before. It's called Kula. I'm sure it's been around for quite some time, but I've never tried this. So it's Kula and this is called the Classic Face Sunscreen. And this is SPF 50 and it says 70% organ 70 plus organic. And it says it's non-greasy, lightweight hydration, and plus plant protection. So what else? It says here it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, antioxidant enriched, farm to face, because they mean organic, I think. Then Hawaii reef compliant at 104. So that's what it says. And then it says the, the antioxidant, what they mean is prickly pear extract raspberry seed oil and buriti oil i don't know what buriti oil is but i'm looking at the ingredients list oh before i uh, look, we look at the ingredients list this is a hundred percent chemical sunscreen so there is no zinc or titanium dioxide in it it's hundred percent chemical sunscreen it active ingredients are avobenzone homosalate and octisalate and then oct Tocrylene. So these are the active ingredients. In the inactive ingredients, I am loving the ingredients list because the first inactive ingredient is um, aloe vera leaf juice. Second is safflower um, and oleosomes. Safflower oleosomes. Is it oil or extract? I'm not sure, but it's from the safflower. And then there's oh, there's also safflower seed oil. There's meadow foam seed oil, there's buriti fruit extract, and then raspberry seed oil, squalane, rapeseed oil, and then uh, indica flower extract, then camilla sativa. I think camilla, uh, camelina is chamomile? I don't know, probably, I, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> then there's another seed oil. It is filled, the, the in, inactive ingredients list is filled with antioxidants and such amazing moisturizing ingredients so i am actually so 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 impressed so yeah uh and so like i said 100 percent chemical sunscreens it is water resistant and broad spectrum of spf 50 and oh wait we haven't discussed the price you get 50 milliliters which is like standard i think the price is 32 dollars i did get this at sephora but is cool available on uh, Nordstrom's website? I think I have seen it. I think I have seen it. And also Macy's too, maybe. I think I have seen this brand uh, quite around in different, um, uh, with, with retailers, but I've never really bought from this brand. This is my first time. So let me quickly also tell you where this is made. Uh, am I able to see it? Oh, wait, I think. It is here made in USA made in USA and it also comes with an expiry date so yeah I think like an uh, a year and a half time so uh, let me quickly show you the packaging and then let's move on to swatches okay uh, before we start this video has swatches and then a demo section I right now I just filmed the demo part of the video and right now I do have the sunscreen all over my face and you'll also hear makeup details after the demo part and then final quick final thoughts and review so that's well, that's the agenda for the you know video <laughs> so let's see this is a beautiful turquoise shade i love this color and it has just the name fragrance free non-greasy 
and it just like opens up it's just like a squeeze tube and i have to say i am loving the texture look at that it looks it is it it, it looks like a foam right and i love that it is let me put some more that's very 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 little it has no tint to it and it's like a foam it's like almost like a cloud it has this whipped consistency and it's amazing this actually the consistency and how like whipped and moussey it feels reminds me of biosense's uh mineral sunscreens that is a 100% mineral sunscreen, by the way. The Biosense one is 100% mineral sunscreen. And uh, although it is SPF 30, if I'm not right, this one is SPF 50. I don't see a lot of this whipped, moussey consistency uh, when it comes to sunscreens. It's usually the cream ones or sometimes it's also almost like pasty. It's like nice and dense. But you have to like work it into your skin for, for a while. Uh, so so that's and now this year there have been so many serum sunscreens which is my absolute favorite consistency and formula to be honest but the second best i would say is this whipped moussey consistency it's an absolute pleasure to put it on the skin and just how it like it's just so soft and so amazing it it absorbs into the skin like within minutes so that is what it looks like and i would say it's not um like I have the sunscreen here, hoping to get a little bit glow, but it's not that shiny. You see, with all the lights and everything, it's not that shiny at all, to be honest. So I guess it is a little bit non-greasy, but on the face, we always naturally produce oils as well. So it is bound to get a little bit greasy, I feel. So that's what it looks like. But it's not overly oily and not like crazy oily looking on the skin so yeah you can definitely put this on and don't have to set your face or anything because it's not streaky it just absorbed into the skin into just looks like uh you know just like a regular moisturizer i guess so yeah so that's quickly the um swatch let's get into the demo section and then you'll hear my final thoughts on the product all right guys let's get started with this demo uh i know i have like a uh, full-on eye makeup and my brows are done as well but my face is no makeup at all not even a pinch um so you can see just serum and moisturizer you can see it all in its acne and hyperpigmentation glory so let's get started so this shouldn't take long to be honest so i'm just gonna take a lot just put it in there so i'm taking a little bit just dotting the under eye this is how i usually put sunscreen on just take it as close to i do have shadow in the lower lash line so i'm not taking it all the way to the shadow but yeah there you go that's it i think it's completely blended in it's a very very i am putting it all over my face because that's how much i usually use there is a lot of sunscreen yeah i think it's blended Let's do a little bit for the forehead. I've been trying out a new moisturizer and it is such a pleasure to put that moisturizer on because it's so fatty and it's so rich. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so, but at the same time, it's not too, I mean, it is greasy. You guys saw how, what my skin looked like, but it's not as oily as it is like in person without the lights and stuff, you know, it just looks, like a well moisturized dewy skin but it's not oily so i'm in love maybe i should do a there have been some really good skin new skincare finds that i've been enjoying I should do a video on that as well so yeah this is like a very very easy just like effortless moisture uh sun screen uh, so you don't even need a mirror to put this on to be honest so uh, I'll just 
I think I want to set the face and put some powder, some blush and highlighter and lipstick. And I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I uh, set my face with Laura Geller's Baked and Balance and Baked Balance and Glow in powder in the shape D. So it's just like a shimmery powder. I just set set my face with it. And then for the blush, I have Laura Mercier's amazing, such a such a beautiful beautiful blush. This is the tinted moisturizer blush. This, which is actually quite true on the skin. It just looks like a moisturizer, not streaky, amazing. This is in the shade Sun Drenched. That's the shade. Beautiful cinnamony color for dark skin. And for highlighter, I have this. It's been so long since I bought this. Actually, I used it quite a bit easily for. Oh, I only have a little bit left. Uh, this is Pat McGrath's highlighter. This is in the shade Gold beautiful that's what i have on high shine but looks like skin just stunning and then for the lips uh this is a brand new launch from urban decay this is lip bond this is actually a transfer proof liquid lipstick amazing i'm so so impressed by this i will maybe leave the link down below i just published that new video yesterday so i will leave the link down below if you want you can take a look at it application and more details but this formula is so so good so that's uh, my makeup deets. Now let's quickly wrap this video up with a final uh, review of the product. I love everything about it, to be honest, except for the fact that it is 100% chemical. I would, because personally I favor physical sunscreens, but all sunscreens are good. If you don't have physical sunscreen, only have chemical sunscreen, use it. You. It's, it's a must so that's the only downside for me but other than that it's amazing it is broad spectrum this spf 50 the price is so 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 good and then it's in 30s right and then it's fragrance free non-greasy and most of all i love how I, I i just adore the texture it's like a foam it's like a cloud it's just like it has volume but it's not pasty it's just like it's so whipped and moussey it just applies you guys saw how easily it applied on the skin and so 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 amazing so yes uh all in all it's a super duper hit uh the only downside that is more like a preferential thing for me i would have absolutely loved if this was a physical moisturizer um but it's not a mineral sunscreen it's 100 percent chemical sunscreen but otherwise every 10 out of 10 i love it i really hope this video was helpful help you make a decision are you look are you thinking about this? Do you want to buy it? Let me know down below uh, the comment section. I would love to say hi to you. Bye-bye. I will see you guys very soon.